everyone, my name is Michelle, I am a triathlete and today I'm gonna talk about my nutrition plan for my next race. So my next race is going to be Challenge Roth in Germany and that is a full distance triathlon which is a 3.8k swimming followed by 108k bike and a marathon in the end. And that is going to be my number seven full distance triathlon but this is going to be my first race since the start of the pandemic so I am a bit worried but excited at the same time so the day before I don't really do much of a carb loading especially because as I say my stomach is sensitive I don't really uh, perform well if I overload on carbs so usually i have two bottles of mountain the day before so i use the 320 i have 80 grams of carbs per 500 ml so, so i will mix one sachet in 500 ml of water so i'm gonna have two of those the evening before my race and usually I have a very light dinner so I'm gonna have for example rice with some uh, light protein uh, no fibers two days before the race and that's it race day I'm gonna wake up around 3 a.m. have my usual breakfast which is going to be uh, porridge and some food some honey some nice coffee and I'm gonna head to the race location I believe they start this year is going to be around 6 30 in the morning so before I start my swimming I'm gonna take one gel so let's say I will be around two or two hours since I have breakfast 15 minutes before my swim I'm gonna have one gel Again, I'm gonna rely on mountain because like I say, this really settles well on my stomach and this actually tastes really nice. The gel 100 mountain, it has 40 grams of carbs. I'm not gonna have anything caffeinated until midway of my bike. So I'm just gonna have a gel 15 minutes before my swim. Also, I'm gonna have on my transition bag this nice anti-shave which is Kuro Nut Butter. So I like to have these small versions because they just are so portable and you can just chuck on your bag and have on the go. I'm gonna have the stick and then I can just uh, put on my neck and on the parts the wet suit is likely to rub and this is actually really really nice it's all natural ingredients some nice nutty butter i'm just gonna leave this on my transition specs as well because when i finish my bike i can just have some before the running i can just put a little bit before i put my socks on that really helps as well to avoid any blisters or anything like that uh, also this uh, as i say is a nut butter you can if it's a hot day you can just have this on on your lips or anything else so this is really nice to have on the go i'm gonna have one on my transition bag so when i finish my swim i'm gonna jump on my bike hopefully quickly <laughs> and i'm gonna have on my bike three bottles of mounting already prepared so i'm gonna have one on the front of my bike on the back and on the frame i'm gonna be alternating the non-calf with the caffeinated drink i'm looking something around five and six hours of bikes uh, five and a half six hours of bike so one mountain drink for each hour of my bikes i'm gonna have this prepared the night before all my water bottles this is going to be 500 ml drink uh, i'm gonna be picking up some uh water or electrolytes during the race course just to top up my hydration which i'm gonna look around 750 ml of liquid per hour so one mountain drink which is 80 grams of carbs so this is more than enough for each hour of my bike so one bottle per hour as i'm taking my own nutrition i'm gonna have someone on race course midway to just refill quickly my drinks on the bike so this is allowed in this race which usually is not on ironman brand races uh, you can have a friend someone from your family 
just in some uh, points. So instead of have the special needs bag, you can have someone to actually give you the drink. So the person cannot really help you, but the person can be there with your nutrition or anything else you need to take on course. So I'm gonna be refueling my drinks halfway off the bike. Something else I like to have on the bike, not that I need in terms of carbohydrates, but just because sometimes I just feel like chewing on something. So I'm gonna have some of this uh, Lutu Delitus, which is basically just uh, sugar and some carbs. So this is made of guava, which is a lovely fruit. And they make this uh, hard block of guava covered on sugar, which they are really nice. So I'm gonna have maybe two of this on my bike just in case I feel like having something solid, but not too much because as I say, I'm quite sensitive. I perform better with liquid nutrition. So mountain drinks, they are gonna be enough. Finishing my bike, I'm gonna jump on transition. For the run, I'm gonna pick up nutrition on course, mainly because I don't really like to run with uh, belts and many things on me. It really bothers me at some point at the marathon. So I would just be picking up uh, nutrition nutrition on course I will probably have maybe three of the mountain gels on me just because I like the way they sit on my stomach so many times before usually I'll feel sick at some point of the running so I like to have something that just goes nice on my stomach so I might have just three of them on me but for this race they have power bar products so I've been training with power bar hydrogels. I had them before, I have no issues. It's just my own preference to have mountain because the amount of carbs and just my taste and preference and makes my stomach happy. <laughs> But on the running, I'm gonna pick up nutrition on course. So I'm gonna look to have maybe one gel every half an hour. And again, I'm gonna alternate between caffeinated, non-caffeinated ones. As I say, they're gonna have power bar gels and bars and some fruits, some crackers. So I'm just gonna pick up nutrition on course for my running and of course hydration. Also, I'm gonna have caffeine straps from Revis. This is really nice stuff basically you don't need to eat anything because sometimes i just have enough of having gels and all all these things but if i feel like if it's a hot day and i feel like i need some caffeine kick without having too many things on my stomach i'm just gonna have those on my race suit or maybe my brow or something and basically you just open up this and it's a uh, stripe you just pop on your mouth and it dissolves very quickly which is very convenient so those ones are uh, 40 milligrams of caffeine really nice stuff so i'm gonna have some of those so this is my nutrition plan for my race day i don't think it's gonna be a super hot day because it's september already so as in the uk germany is not having like a much of happy summer <laughs> so i think the temperature is gonna be nice i hope you enjoyed thank you